I am Martin Holechko. I'm from VR Engineers uh, from Prague. Martin, what are you showing here at CES? Oh, we are showing the Xtal, and Xtal is the VR headset with the most visual quality or the most visually amazing picture in the VR world right now. So, how does this compare to like the HTC uh, 2.0? HTC Vive 2.0. Well, it's still uh, higher quality. It, this is actually a headset meant for professional users. So we really, really uh, go down that uh, visual quality uh, path. And uh, this headset has a 5K resolution and 180 field of view. So it gives you the comparison to, for example, the HTC Vive. This is not like a consumer product. You're aiming for like professional level of like engineering and CAD and design. Exactly. Actually, it's not only engineers, but also designers, like industrial designers, automotive designers, or even architects. And the second set of uh, use cases is actually in simulation and training. Because with the wide field of view, you can act naturally. You can read all controls, dashboard, whatever. So you can uh, train pilots, you can tra uh, train um, uh, racing, or whatever else. Yeah, anything else. Aside from it being 5K and having a wild field of view, you also have finger tracking and hand tracking. Talk a little bit about that. Exactly. There's an embedded leap motion generation 2 sensor in the headset. So it gives you an easy way to interact with any VR scene. Now, I know it's meant for a professional level, but if someone really wanted to, could they use it for gaming? For, yeah, sure. Because it's compatible with Steam, so it can be used for gaming. but. Um, uh, also, eventually, I think this technology will come to gaming and will come to, co to the consumer, but right now it's basically uh, where you can get with the pricing. Yeah. As an engineer, can you talk about what your personal views on VR, especially untethered VR? You know, there are several uh, technologies coming together to enable that, like 5G. Yeah, But um, for, for that level of quality, it's, it's not realistic right now. Yeah? So, uh, right now, we are um, working on switching over to USB-C, yeah, to the virtual link. That's one thing that will make it very easy because there will be one thin cable, and eventually it will also go wireless in this quality, but not right now. How do advances in technology, especially graphical hardware like NVIDIA's chipset, like their, your graphics chipsets, how does that, what does that open up for you creatively as an engineer when working in a, the VR space? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we really welcome every advance in the in the graphical power and the capabilities. And what NVIDIA is really working on is these uh, enablers like uh, foveated rendering or uh, real-time um, uh, ray tracing, etc. So this, these things are very exciting for, for VR because uh, it will enable us to achieve the, 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 the dream of VR, yeah? to, to have a reality uh, which is indistinguishable from reality, a virtual reality indistinguishable from reality. So, when does when is your product? Do you have an SDK now for your product, and where can people find more information about it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the product is on the market. It can be bought. Uh, the lead time is about two to three months uh, to ship it, and uh, there are SDKs for Unreal, for Unity. It's compatible with Steam. It's also compatible with some Autodesk products. So there's a whole bunch of. Uh, softwares you can use it with and all these you will uh, get access to as a customer. Of course.